Hello there, everybody. My name is Master Rolfus, and it's time to play Space Hulk Ascension Edition. Now, Space Hulk was a turn-based strategy game released last year by Full Control Studios, which allowed you to take a group of Terminators and fulfill your quest to rid the galaxy of the Xenos filth known as the Tyranids, more specifically, the Gene Stealers. And it was a ton of fun, and you had a ton of choices to actually um, utilize in your quest to kill the Tyranids, such as smashing them in the face with power fists or, uh, I guess, shoving a bolter up their buttholes. Now, in Ascension Edition, you basically have a lot more stuff to utilize. You have different Space Marine chapters you can actually pick. You can pick different weapons. You can fight off against different Turned forces. So it's a lot more bang for your buck, I guess. Anyway, so the three chapters would be Space Wolves, Blood Angels, and Ultramarines. They each have their own little gimmick. So Ultramarines are more focused on range combat. Space Wolves are more about getting down and dirty with your uh, Frost Claws. And then we have the Blood Angels, who are more about psychic powers. So we're going to play as the Space Wolves because they're pretty darn badass. And I do like to get down and dirty with Dreadlock Captain over here. So we're going to pick normal because I'm not a masochist and I suck at Space Hulk. We do have three campaigns to utilize. We have Hammer and Anvil, Cinem Damnation, Fall of Jotunheim. I will pick Jotunheim because, you know, Space Wolves are all about that area. So, represent. Space Hulks are a rare sight, and it is rare still that the warp spits them out in an inhabited system where their deadly alien cargo can threaten the citizens of the Imperium. The vessel codenamed Jotunheim is one such Space Hulk. It has appeared in the Atan system. Unusually, it is transmitting a message on all frequencies in an ancient dialect of Fenris, homeworld of the Space Wolves. My brothers are redeemed. The Jotunheim is no longer a threat. So says Harof of the Rot. Your force of the Wolf Guard has been dispatched aboard the Jotunheim. And whatever threat lies aboard it and discover Harulf's fate. Now, before every school mission, you could choose between two squads. And you could choose a loadout of your squads, basically changing up the weapons, the appearance of your squad. And as they level up, you could uh, put points into different attributes, change their equipment, and change their skills. Now, unfortunately, all of our guys are level one, so we have no weapons to actually change up, which kind of does suck. I am going to probably pick squad. Yulnurfa? I have to change that name because I am not going to pronounce that for shit. We're going to pick this squad because we do have the Librarian over here who has a good amount of abilities as well as has the uh, freaking Force Sword here. It's just going to slice his way through uh, Tyranid Fools. We do have a Heavy Flamer over here. And three units of regular Terminators, each focused on melee combat. You know what? I'm going to change the appearance of these guys. We're going to be the Eye Patch Space Wolf Clan. Alright, matey. I'm here for Tyranid Booty. There we go. And this guy with his majestic beard, he can kind of be the, um, the god of the, the Eye Patch Clan. So right now, we have nothing really to do besides uh, change up our Eye Patches, and that's pretty much about it. Kind of sucks that I can't change the individual um, stuff of the Terminator face, like the eyes and the mouth and the beards, because I would love to have... A beer like this guy, but with an eye patch. So, 2 out of 10. Worst game of the year. Let me go ahead and change the appearance of my Terminators even more. Give them some bling. Yeah, let's give them the Space Wolf dick. There we go. That schlong flow. Beautiful. Fortunately, Librarian can't be suited up with that wolf, but that's okay. That is a okay. Alright, so everything seems to be. All ship shape and ready to go. We can trade up our squad members for different terminators. So if I don't like this guy, I can change him with someone else. Or I can change him with a sergeant if I wanted to. But I'm not going to change him uh, the librarian with a sergeant. I want to pick a librarian. Alright. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up with the purge. Advance through the enemy. Kill as many of them as you can. Exit with three or more terminators. So we're going to have to move as fast as possible try to escape this area before we get completely creamed by tyranids Sergeant maybe we'll leave behind two units to overwatch orders. pull down the area make sure tyranids don't flank us and then move all over the rest of the dudes okay so we have to get right over there and then we're good what's over here i guess that's an air duct and that would be where tyranids spawn i guess so let me go ahead and lead with the Librarian. Terminator ready. Box received, Commander. Your command. We'll have the Heavy Flamer in the I back. shall not fail. Well, not in the back, but second to last ba um, position. Alright, Eyepatch Clan. You're all looking spank-tiddly-dishes. 
Now, when you do select a Terminator, you actually get a little um, snapshot of what they're seeing in their field of view. So right now I'm seeing what this guy is looking at. He's looking at the backside of his fellow Terminator brother, and then this guy is just staring at a, a dark abyss. And you do get to see Gene Steelers as well, so that's pretty darn fantastic. Okay. Moving. Keep moving. As you move, as you reload your weapons, and as you use your abilities, you use these things called AP. So keep in mind when Dating moving out position. with your units to not get yourself in a position where you have like no AP to utilize. Clear Definitely does off. suck when you have like Gene Steeler claws in your face and you can't fire at him with your mighty majestic bolter. Okay, so I'm going to continue moving forward. This area does have two ways to get to our position, which kind of does suck this way and this way. We might want to try to go down as fast as possible down this hallway and then spread out. Try not to stay here for too much long. Uh, too much longer than we already have to. So let me go ahead and turn around you. Oh, wait, I can't turn around. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, turning around does cost an extra AP, so that kind of sucks. Clear a path. Granted, these are Terminators we're talking about, so these guys are slow as balls. Okay, good. No Xenos filth in sight. Let's go ahead and overwatch. Scanning for enemy movement. This will allow me to yes, brother. Move. pretty much stay in my position right now and shoot any turn in force that you got Oh, crap. That would be a gene stealer. That's not good. Not good at all. No, no, no. So what I want to do actually right now is develop, uh, well, not develop, but put down a skull surveyor so I can see all the turn that are coming at us. This is especially useful when checking out these air ducts over here. Because the Tyranids can utilize the air ducts to flank you, which isn't exactly good. We can't call the, do the air ducts because we're fat pieces of shit. Now this gene stealer is a little bit ways away from attacking us, so that's good. He's getting a little bit closer, I don't like that. So I'm going to overwatch with you. I'm going to continue moving forward with my librarian right now. Initiating attack protocol. Main reason why I'm moving forward with the Librarian is because he does have the Force Sword, so he can kick some major booty. There might be a Tyranid unit over here. Will he be able to pass through and touch us? I don't think so. No, he won't be able to. There's too many tiles. Alright, keep moving. Come on. We don't want to stay here for too much longer. Your fat pieces of lard. There we go. The Emperor protects my brothers. Oh crap. That's not good. Yeah, this isn't good. So he needs to cool down his weapon and reload, otherwise he's gonna get completely fucked over. Wait, wait, is he on Overwatch mode? No, he's not. Okay. Secure. So we'll put him on overwatch mode. We will reload his weapon. There we go. Now we're all solid. Can I open this door? Is there a turn it over there? There might be. So I'm going to go over overwatch and I'm just going to stay in position for now. Wait for him to come at us. Yeah, it tastes like stain, fuck Multiple targets acquired. Ready to fight again. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, let's just move out you. The death of that gene stealer comes the progress of the Terminators. Okay, move you out. Come on. We know there's no turn in the area, so that's good. Objective log. Keep moving, my brothers. Keep moving. Could have this guy make a tactical retreat and go back. Or he can be like a sacrifice for the greater good. No way, we can't. Let's cool this uh, weapon down. Resuming fire. Good. Cool that one more. Removed. There we go. Okay. And you're still on Overwatch, so you will be able to blast away at that Tintin. Hopefully, you'll have enough ammo to do so. All right, end of turn. 
Yeah, get out of here, son. Let me go ahead and reload. And we'll move back, I think, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Should I move out of this really nice position that's like kind of like spawn camping old turnits? And have this guy escape to this teleporter? Or should I just like, I don't know, do something else? Like move him over here, move him over there? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to use a psychic ability, which will... Ooh, prayer. Wait, hold on a second. That restore focus points. Amount depends on willpower. And then we have Runa Command. Terminators within six tiles gain one AP. I like that. Because I want to move out a little bit. Okay, I think we'll still have enough for Overwatch, so that's good. Yep, we'll have enough for Overwatch. Position. He moved out. Uh, well, he moved and fired at the same time because he did see the Turnit. Turnit won't be able to get us, so that's good. Yeah, you're just going to stay there for now. I have movement, brothers. Oh, crap. My has failed me. Oh, no. That is not good. Okay, let's just cool down. Cool down one more time. Spirits have answered my prayers. I think we have enough ammo to actually kick some booty. So, while this happens, I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Affirmative. Peace. Objective locked. Since there's no turn it's in sight, I can kill that guy. You see something? There we go. Bam. Get completely shrecked. I think the librarian's gonna be the last to go because he is a little bit the, uh, uh kind of like the most powerful actually. You know what we could do? We can have the heavy flamer burn down this area and then just move all my guys. That would work out. Right now I don't see any turnage, so I think I'm safe. I'm gonna use Overwatch because I don't want the librarian to get stabbed in the back. Since yes, if you do get stabbed in the back by a turnage, you get insta killed, which isn't good. I did see something. That something is dead. All right, get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Peace. Okay, good. Now it's time to move this guy. And now it's time for the heavy flamer to shine. So we're gonna go ahead and use the heavy flamer's ability known as a long fire to kind of just like set this entire area ablaze. No turnips can pass through this area when it's ablaze. Acknowledged. And I I think it's the kill the turn is, which is pretty good. I love how the terminators walk. It's like an awkward three-legged turtle. Alright, let's just move. Unfortunately for me, the flamer in question can only be used a certain amount of times, and then afterwards it runs out of ammo. But this is kind of the end of the mission, so. Moving. I think we can waste some ammo. Go ahead and use a wide fire really quick. I think I might be able to kill that turn in. Yes, I did kill the turn in, so that's good. By your will, my lord. Keep moving, keep moving. This door's locked. This door's locked. This door is open, but the way for the turn is to get around that is gonna take them a while. All right, get out. Moving. Go, 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 go. And I think one more flame ability, and then we should be fine. Right over there. Smack. With all, all right, now let's get the fuck out. Oh, man, they're still coming. Can you make it there? You might not be able to make it there. Shit. 
This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, hold on a second. I might just want to go ahead and pull back here. Yeah, there we go. And we can light this one tile on fire. This does not let the Teradids pass through. Oh, wow. Oh, we won the mission anyway. But I want to get this guy out. Yeah, let's get him out. He's a fucking hero. Oh, no. That's 4 AP. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Keep, keep burning. Keep, keep burning. You're so close here. You're, you're so flipping close. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. There we go. Bam. Everybody is alive. <laughs> that's good. Man, we almost got completely flabbergasted there, but that's okay. Look at all those beautiful kills. Four on this guy. Man, what a god. Oh, Levi. You need to you need to step up your game. You need to step up your game, buddy boy. Anyway, so that is the first mission, and as you can see, we have a ton of uh, a ton of stuff we can actually do on this uh, little rock over here. We can go to Mimmer as well, we can go to Cleanse, this objective over here, save a Tech Marine, which is pretty good. But you know what, I'm going to end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the next part. Bye-bye.